I just got this text from a girl that I think perfectly sums up long-term attraction. Like how you can keep a girl attracted to you long-term, whether you're single and you wanna look for the future, whether you're in a relationship or whether you're married, this is something that can help you with long-term attraction, get a, get a woman and keep her attracted to you. So here is the text so that you can get familiar with it and then I will explain it. So she wrote, you're the bad boy in my story, like the one I can't tame. The significance of this is that we have hung out for six or seven years, long distance, and it's been that long. Um, obviously, we've both dated other people, of course, but to keep this spark alive for six or seven years, this long-term thing, she summed it up perfectly there. You're like the uh, bad boy in my story I can't tame. I think that's what she said. I'm looking at it one more time. Yeah, you're the bad boy in my story like the one I can't tame. And here's how powerful this is, but it, it's kind of deep, it's kind of advanced, so we're gonna have to try to unpack this. Hopefully I can make it clear what I see in this, the importance. If something's not going right with the attractive, you know you lose the butterflies in your stomach feeling, it's not that like honeymoon period of that new crush you really like, or the new um, girlfriend, the new fiance, new wife, whatever. Once that kind of honeymoon period wears off, you know what I'm talking about, where it starts to get comfortable. Once it gets comfortable, now, if it's comfortable, if it's boring, that is when you will start to see one or the other will pick out things you don't like about the other person or behaviors. For instance, let's say that you smoke weed. I'm 420 friendly. So let's just say you smoke weed, right? And the girl that, or drink alcohol, whatever it is, just some vice you have, you um, play too many video games, right? So whatever vice it is that you have, and a girl goes, I want you to stop doing that, or some form of that, right? You, you need to stop. I don't want you to do that anymore. You can't, whatever it is. W once you understand that once it's comfortable, that's when, like once that honeymoon peri period wears off, that's when you'll start to, she'll start to search out things that she doesn't like because it's stagnant. She's not getting those emotions she had of that early stage of that excitement of the new relationship. So if she goes, hey, I don't like that you smoke weed. You need to stop. Now, I am not saying that it would be a bad idea for you to stop. That's totally a personal choice. But if you stop just for her because she told you to, and you think that that will make her happy, you'll be in for a treat because if you fix that, she now will get that one done and then she might go, okay, that's I, I'm perfectly happy now, but nope, it'll get comfortable again and she'll look for the next thing and it will kind of be a never ending cycle. So like that text showed, you're the bad boy in my story I can't quite tame. If a girl tells me to do something or it tells me to stop doing something, whatever it is, I will, I will take her opinion, her feedback. If I think that she's, if she brings up a point or something, I'm like, you know what? She's right, I probably should. And I decide myself I wanna stop, that's okay, right? I, and then I decide my, on my own, I'm doing it. But if I stop, just because I think that will get me off her back, she will, it's like whack-a-mole. You stop that, another one will pop up and she'll make you stop that. And it'll just be a never-ending cycle of finding these negatives and you having to stop and all that to the point where, like most guys end up, where they go, I don't know, whatever, man. She just tells me what to do and I do it. Happy wife, happy life. <laughs> so if you just play that game, it's gonna be constant whack-a-mole. What can you do instead? Well, again, Think about it for, for a moment on your own. Do you want to stop or not? Whatever. You decide. Be open-minded about it, but then decide. And if you don't want to stop, don't stop. If you do want to stop for yourself, stop. But the important thing is that whole that little thing that you might be debating over is not going to change the unhappiness that is happening right now. 
What will change that is learning attraction, learning think, learning to communicate with women better. If you just stop what she asked you to stop, I'm telling you again, it will be whack-a-mole. Something else will come up that she doesn't like because that is like treating your hangovers with aspirin, right? It's fine to do every once in a while, but that's not going to cure the problem. If you're sick of hang hangovers, the aspirin are not going to be your only cure, right? Obviously, the cure, it would be deeper. You know, drink more water when you drink or don't drink. I like to party, so I'm just going to drink more water when I drink if I don't want the hangover. That right there is preventing it. The aspirin is just the quick fix. So if she points something out that she doesn't like, that is her going, I'm not happy in this relationship. So what could it be? Maybe it is that. Maybe I don't I don't like that he smokes weed. Maybe that's it. Yeah, that's it. If he stops doing that, I'll be happy. He stops doing that, oh, I'm not happy. Maybe it's, you know what? I don't like that ugly tool box he has in the garage. I want him to get rid of that. But it's just a game of whack-a-mole because you're just popping aspirins for something deeper. When you understand communication skills with women, you understand how like you start to uh, find a purpose for yourself, for your own life, you, you get your self-determination, all these things, those will cure it. That's like drinking the water when you're taking shots. You are preventing the hangover. You're preventing these fights. You're preventing her wanting to change you because you are pay taking progressive action. She's not gonna tell you to change something if she sees that you're working on yourself already then she knows, okay, well, he's trying, he's improving. But if you're flat stagnant, you're not looking to improve yourself, you're not learning new skills of how to communicate better with her, then at that point, she's gonna look around and play whack-a-mole telling you to stop doing things. So that is just a symptom of a deeper problem, and that deeper problem can be solved by learning communication skills, learning attraction skills with women. That will solve those problems instead of you just covering up one problem with the band-aid and then here comes another uh, cut that you have to cover up with another band-aid and another one it never stops and just one quick tidbit of an example for learning communication skills with women the next time that she comes home and says uh, oh, I had such a hard day and the next time she said that to you instead of doing what you might have done which might have been like ignoring her not giving your full attention or trying to fix her problem. Like, oh, okay, t uh, um, well, did you do that? Instead of you doing that, if you were to do this instead, this would solve a lot of your problems. You go, oh, really? You, you, let's say you're playing video games. You put it on pause. You set your controller down. You turn to her and you go, really? Tell me about that. Tell me about that. Let her tell you. Just let her talk and you listen. Don't try to fix. Just listen, oh, I hear you. So that happened, oh, that happened at work. Hmm, how'd that make you feel? And you just let her get it out. Women are are so socially smart and they have, they have so many skills that they don't usually need you to fix their problems. They just need to fix their own problem, but they needed a voice, they needed to voice it to somebody. So if you were to just take this, this would improve your relationships already by when she has a problem, don't try to fix it unless she asks. And how do you know? Don't guess. Listen, listen, listen. Hmm. She'll talk her way through it. And then if she's still not getting there after a certain period of time, you could say, would you like, would you like any advice or do you want me to just listen? And she will tell you, I'd like advice or no, I just want you to listen right now. Thank you. That right there will solve so many problems with women. And that's just one little skill of things that you can learn. So again, if there are fights, if she's trying to change you, don't play whack-a-mole. Don't just play her game and change here, change there. Take a step back. That's your alert sign going off in your brain to say, hey, something is not, she's not happy with something. And she might not even know what it is, but if you take charge as a man, and you try to learn better skills, try to treat her better, try to communicate with her better, learn more conversation skills. So if you're in the dating stage and you can't even get a girl, learn conversation skills, learn texting skills, 
learn the things that will make you better or else if there's something wrong, it will keep coming up because that is just the symptom she's seeing to a deeper problem of the attraction she's feeling. Don't forget, subscribe, like, comment, share the video, but definitely subscribe. Peace.